Guys, Crypto Athene in the shed. I hope you get to see this for yourself with your own eyes. Like, please God, you do. And the reason I say that is because it may take 30 years. However, it may only take 20 or 10 or even five. But anyway, I'm in the shed doing a bit of work on the car here. We'll just let a few people jump in on the live. So I'll give it a second while they're flooding in. Guys, Crypto Athene, Athene here. Let me do my disclaimer before everyone's here and they don't have to listen to it. I am not a financial advisor. I'm a BMW mechanic today. <laughs> Let me show you. Check it out here. Just putting a few more horses in there. Electric horses. <laughs> There's nothing actually in there. Because the engine's in the back of this car and the motor's underneath. So it's just got this big whopper fan and some other business. But anyway, a little job to do on that. But anyway, guys, sorry. I'm not a financial advisor. This isn't financial advice. But I do hope you get to see this for yourself. Guys, beware of scammers. It's a massive problem for me. People are reaching out to all my community saying, hey, how's your investment portfolio going? Or, or just adding you. And then trying to spark up conversation. Every video I warn you is, I do not message you to ask you how you're doing. Okay? So if someone's messaging you, ask you how you're doing, I promise you, it's not me. <laughs> okay? So please, don't fall for scammers, guys. Happy Christmas to everyone. Happy Christmas Eve, Frankie. Good to see you on. Um, the reason why... I, I, when I'm down in the shed, and I'm, I do me a bit of thinking. I do a, a good bit of deep thinking. And uh, the reason why I hope you get to see this for yourself is because it might take 30 years. However, I don't think it's going to take that long. All right. And, you know, please, God, we're all here in 30 years to have to crack. Uh, but it's certainly not a certainty. So I don't rely on it myself being here in 30 years. <laughs> I'm not living for the future. I'm living for the now. Um, I'll give you a couple of examples because I was thinking about them. Back in about 2011 or 12, I started taking photographs of my food and posting them on Facebook. And uh, I was ridiculed by friends, like, what the fuck are you at, like, you idiot? Why are you taking a picture of your scrambled eggs and, and putting it on social media for? This was before anyone done that. There was very little activity on social medias. But I just recognized that because I had a fitness brand, it was a way that I could build up a fitness brand. I could build up some authority um, in my local community and a way that I could give out some free tips to help people. And, and sort of, if you give people free information and knowledge... And you have a paid product. Generally, if they're going to pay for a product and you have that service, they'll pay you. And uh, lo and behold, you know, about four years ago, the trend of normal people taking pictures of their food started. And everyone's taking pictures of their food. And you go into a restaurant now, you see fucking half the restaurant will take a photograph of their food to put it on Instagram or to put it on Facebook or one of the social medias. So, so sometimes when you're early to something, you get ridiculed in the beginning and people laugh at you. And, and that's okay and that's fine. All right, and the very friends that broke my balls over that are the very ones that I just think, oh, the irony when I see the picture going up, like, oh, the fucking irony. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> live videos came out. I don't know if any of you remember an app called Periscope. Periscope was an app, and you could go live on it. And uh, it was about eight years ago. Again, no one was going live. You'll see now people are Instagram story and they're talking, you know, but... Like, I've been doing it for almost a decade. <laughs> People are like, how are you so comfortable on camera? You, you, must be, you must be a natural. I'm like, I'm not a natural at all. I'm terrible at it. But I've just been doing it for nearly 10 years. So I don't give a crap anymore. I just hit the live. And I go and I waffle and I throw out value. Okay? But in 2013, when the lives came out on Facebook, or 14, I can't remember what year it was. Nobody was doing it. Okay? And a few people started doing it. And because they were early, like I used that to build a fitness business. I used it to build a seven-figure fitness business. Just me getting on and talking about health and talking about fitness tips and talking about motivation. And just talking about what I'm doing. I'm working on my car, having the crack. <laughs> okay? But when you're early to something, nobody will understand it. So you can't ask people, should I do this? Is this a good idea? It's just about you seeing the future and going, hold on a minute. People are watching telly all the time. And I can have my own television channel, which is just Dini going live on Facebook. And if people are interested, they'll watch it. And if they're not, they won't. Well, sure, feck it, I'll try it. <laughs> because I know to get an ad on the telly, it costs thousands of euros. So I can just hit the live on Facebook. Boom, let's go. And so again, it's just another trend. And then it becomes mainstream. We're all doing it. The reason I say I hope you're here to see this is because today Bitcoin is, I normally look at it in dollars. So I Googled what it was in euros. I think it's 45,000 euros today. Guys, remember your daily exercise. In fact, my arm is getting a bit sore here. I'm going to have to change arms. <laughs> Shake her out. 
I'm going, uh, I'm going horizontal mode because I'm going to load this up onto YouTube. By the way, Crypto with Dini on YouTube, go give us a follow. I'm nearly at 500. It'd be awesome to get to 500 before Christmas. So if you use, I think I only need about 38. So if all you guys go to YouTube, that can be my Christmas present. <laughs> Your present, my present to you is all the knowledge and information, waffles, crack. That I've been giving you over the year. So your present to me could be just going to my YouTube, hitting the follow, hitting the subscribe. And uh, it'd be nice to get to 500 over Christmas. I think Santa Claus himself was after subscribing there yesterday. Um, anyway, so I googled, you know, Bitcoin is 45,000 euros. But like, because again, I just see the future. I'm like, 45,000 euros, it's so funny. Like, And people are like, oh, Bitcoin's up 5% today. I think I'll buy it. Oh, it's down 10%. I won't buy it. It's like, guys, in the future, Bitcoin is going to move. In a day, it's going to move 45,000 euros. In a day, it's going to print 45,000 euros up or down. That's only five, when Bitcoin's a million, that's only 5%. It's only a 5% move. Bitcoin does that all the time. And yet people get caught up in the day to day. So I just think it's so funny like that. Hopefully we'll all get to see this and we'll all be alive. You know, maybe it'll happen in five years. Maybe it won't be for 10 or 20 or even 30 years. That's why I say hopefully we're alive. But it's inevitability that we go there and that we print days of the, mar of the whole value of a Bitcoin today is printed in, in one day in the future. And that's just a certainty because it's just math. And it's funny like because day to day people are like, ah, Bitcoin's going to go down, ah, it's up. I'm just like, in the meantime, I'm just buying as much as I can every week, every week. Buy, 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 buy. Convert some of my wages into Bitcoin and think of it as my long term savings vehicle. This is my fun vehicle. Bitcoin is my long-term <laughs> saving vehicle. Well, my fun vehicle is actually a little bit sick at the minute. That's why the bonnet's up. And I'm actually finished. It should be repaired. Hopefully it's repaired. But it's a two-man job to close the bonnet. And uh, I'm here on my own, so I have to wait until my wife gets back to help me to close it. So, uh, so I said I'd do the video anyway. What else do I want to talk to you about? Oh, yeah, guys, by the way, on the 30th of December, I'm doing a Bitcoin Basics. Now, remember, I do these for free. It helps you understand the basics of Bitcoin, what it is, why it is value, how it works, all this other stuff, and how to get involved, and how to build your own Bitcoin pension plan, if you want, because that's what I've done. And I'm consulting with people five days a week. I do one-on-one -on -one con consultations with people who are building Bitcoin pension plans or have crypto investments, and they've realized this isn't a thing where I make five grand or 10 grand or 50 grand. This is where I make retirement money. I want to set this up for a couple of years. Okay, and that's what I help people do, to set up a serious plan to make serious money, not a quick flick, not a trade in and out, not sell and pay your tax today and put 10 grand in your pocket and say you're a hero. That's such a foolish thing to do. Like anyone who's ever traded cryptocurrency, anyone who's traded Bitcoin for the entirety that Bitcoin has been around has been an idiot. They just don't realize that until a couple of years pass and they go, that money would have been worth way more today. Why did I sell it? <laughs> oh, the, you know, and people have to learn that lesson. Anyway, sorry, I'm going on about it. That's on um, Thursday the 30th. It's free. It's on my website, CryptoWithDinny.com. Go get a ticket. Get yourself in there. If you've been there before, you're welcome back if you want to refresh your course. I always add to it. Look at the way I'm holding the arm here. <laughs> oh, I done a lot of push-ups yesterday, lads. My shoulders are sore. Oh, we'll rest that arm. Tire out this one. Thanks for the happy Christmas, guys. Happy Christmas, Darren, David. Cheers, lads. Thanks for all the val valuable input. You're welcome. Guys, um, just a short video today, that's it. We're going to see the irony in a couple of years when Big Hub's printing 45k in a day or even in a week. And we're going to be like, imagine, we were around. We, we knew about Bitcoin. We owned Bitcoin when it was actually 45k for the whole fucking thing. Not the, money, not, not the amount that the market moved in a day is the equivalent to what it was. But anyway, that's the way it's been. That's the way it's always been. Everyone underestimates it. No one thinks it's going to do what it does. And then it just does what it does. It's just maths. So There's only 21 million and it's measured against an ever expanding money supply. Whether it's dollars, euros, yens, whatever. It's only 21 million Bitcoin. Just divide that into all the wealth in the world and then decide what percentage of it is in Bitcoin. And for every 1% that comes in, Bitcoin goes up much higher. Like it doubles and doubles and doubles. <laughs> guys have an awesome day I'll see you on the Bitcoin Basics on the 30th if you're interested get involved have the crack and if any of you are around locally drop in here and help me lower the bonnet of this thing so I'm just standing around waiting and I uh, need an extra pair of hands anyway and hopefully the problem is fixed see, I want to get the bonnet down get it out and see are we back in business because if we're not back in business 
We won't be buying as much Bitcoin next week. <laughs> we'll be giving it to Joe Duffy instead, which won't be good. Anyway, did he out?